Hey everybody, Russ back with you and just want to say right out of the gate, I look a little rougher. I'm out in the woods today. We're camping this weekend. It's one of the weekends for Jennifer to be uh, in Tuscaloosa at University of Alabama. And so we are camped. You see behind me, that's Lake Lurleen. We are in Lake Lurleen State Park. We're about 30 minutes north of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It's uh, December, let me think about it, uh, 6th actually, 2019. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to give you a quick look at the toy that I told you in the last video that we had purchased, uh, the RV. And so I'm also using the gimbal camera this time. And so I don't have a lot of experience with this, so please be patient with me. But it will stop all of that nasty shaking that I am so sorry for in the last video. So just gonna give you a quick rundown of our new toy. You know, we've had motorcycles, uh, we had a boat, we've had jet skis. Now we have an RV, a uh, travel trailer, I guess technically is what you'd call it. And so let's see if I can run the camera here, come back around, there we are. It's a 2018 R-Pod. We took all of the uh, logos off of it because they were a little too much 1950s diner for me, uh, for my liking. And so uh, you may or may not want to watch this video, uh, but if you're interested in this new toy, uh, then I'm sure you'll be wanting to check it out. There's a few things here. We'll just start on this side. This is our water heater. And then right beside it, you see the city water connection where we're hooked up to uh, the water here at the park this particular run we have full hookups uh, we did boondock in the walmart parking lot wednesday night <laughs> so the beauty of this rig is that it will actually sit off grid and run itself for a while so right above the city water you see where we can fill our fresh water tank we can carry 36 gallons of fresh water directly to the right of that that little grate right there that's the in and out for the furnace uh, then down below you can see our black tank uh, empty right there and then of course the slide sticking out and what you see back there is our gray water currently hooked up uh, one of the things that we do is uh, we actually need to drain that a little more often and then so when we go to leave I'll bring it over and empty the black tank and then I will empty the gray tank again uh, to flush out what I have learned is called a stinky slinky <laughs> and uh, then of course you can see our 30 amp power that is plugged in in the back on the front we have a dandy 30 pound I'm sorry 20 pound cylinder uh, under there which runs us pretty good the temperature has been in the low 40s overnight here so we're doing fine we got a 12 volt deep cycle battery there that runs our 12 volt things which is almost the whole trailer and then of course we have a power tongue jack which was a really sweet item on this rig and so we have a manual awning that cranks out it goes out a lot farther than that i just put it out far enough to put some christmas lights on there since we're away from home in december i snuck those on board and decorated last night while jen was at class so she was really happy and surprised uh whenever she came back and those were on we have a single under under belly storage i guess anyway it's actually under the bed the bed takes up the whole front of the trailer here you see we've got a couple of outdoor speakers uh there's also indoor speakers ran off the radio it's really cool kind of give you a little look at the back like i said we took the logo off it took like it took up this whole area between the window and the tire so uh didn't want to be 1950s diner and took it off we left the uh, color graphics, we like those, and we left this one, this was actually kind of cool. I mean, you guys may or may not know, Jennifer and I's first date uh, was actually a canoe trip. And so the other cool thing about this graphic is Jennifer's favorite Valentine's Day uh, that I did. Uh, I bought a frog and some other things and did a whole bunch of other things that apparently has uh, remained the very top Valentine's Day. Uh, it's been quite a few years and I've yet to top that one. So still working to do that for sure as we come inside here just going to let you know that it is set up for camping so it's uh may or may not be what you might consider clean one of the reasons that we wanted this rig was because this full back kitchen you can see that we have a lot of space under the stove we have these three drawers and we've got even more storage over here as well now what's cool here is 
that we have this really awesome two burner gas stove if you've ever cooked with gas it is really sweet if you're wondering about that lighter it uh, doesn't have a ignition on it you have to just light it a little bit a sink and of course we can't go anywhere without our ability to have our coffee we actually have a coffee pot that we can put on the stove uh, whenever we don't have shore power when we don't have 100 and 20 volts and believe me we're not roughing it we actually have a microwave oven which is also a convection oven we have only uh, microwaved a couple of things in there just a little bit we have a really sweet fridge we took the uh, freezer out which usually sits right here you just snap it out and then it becomes one big refrigerator and that thing works really awesome and i have to admit i like that blue light in there uh, one of the super cool things is the fact that this thing will run off of shore power, which you see it's currently on, 120 volts. It will also run on gas, and it will also run on the battery, although not very long on the battery because it pulls so much power. So it's a really sweet setup on the fridge. I'll just keep going around. By the way, this is in the uh, slide area, what you saw outside that slides out, all of this right here. So. This was the dinette, and uh, that table right there is part of it. Now, there's this uh, ottoman right here fastened to the floor. There was another one on the other side. We just took that out to make a little bit more space. This actually hides a little bit of things to make the camper work. And then, of course, that's the part that slides out. We got some super cool storage up top. Currently, I think there's a jacket in there, Jennifer's books, and a printer even that she has to have whenever we're up here so that she can do what she needs to do. And this also makes a great space for me to work as well. Now, if you're looking at that, yes, that's a TV. It's really cool because it swings away back around the side here and then gets a strap. And then, uh, as I said, the bed takes up the whole front area and then the table we just move around uh, as we need got a wardrobe with that uh, behind that mirror and then there's also if I can show you yes there's three drawers down there to keep our clothes in as well so quick look up we've got a really big rooftop air conditioner it's, I think it's a little too big for this rig but I maybe I just don't make them smaller I'm not really sure there's also more storage down here under the bed which would be back over under here uh, of course the furnace is under there the water heater stuff like that and then our wet bath is in here we're actually going to uh, do a little thing in here we're going to take uh, all of the uh, material out and instead of the sink and everything working right here we're going to just eliminate the sink because we don't really need it uh, and then we're going to move the faucet over to the other wall with the shower so that whenever you're standing in here, you've got a nice space to stand in without stuff in your way. So it's doable uh, at the moment, but we'd like just a little bit more room. Uh, and of course, you can just get in here. If you were six foot two, I think your head would hit that would be in that fan. <laughs> so a little cool thing there. So some of the controls. For the rig where we can see how much battery we have our fresh water our black water is a third full our gray water is empty our water heater on and off we can turn our water pump on whenever we are uh, dry camping or boondocking this is just the light in the uh, wet bath and that's a light outside slide the room and out sorry to move the camera and then of course our thermostat that runs our heat and air behind all of that there's still some extra storage we're going to have to put some kind of shelf in here to make that work a little bit better. The bottom one actually works great as it is because it has two shelves. And then that black box at the bottom is where all of our power is controlled, including the converter that charges the battery. And so that has come full circle for us. And I'm trying to run the gimbal and make this look fancy even though it's live. Look at my hand holding the phone right there. I didn't know I was going to show that. So that's a quick tour of our trailer. Hope that we... Uh, work on the road it gives